Hi, this is a very quick tutorial showing a very quick way of getting uh, CC74 from your Rolly RISE or uh, RISE25 or RISE49 keyboard into a synth like Omnisphere so it works across the whole range and this is using Cubase and using some of the functionality of Cubase to do that. Um, one of the functions of Rolly, and it's not a bug, it's just the way the software has been set up, is that when you hit a key CC74 is sent out at value 64, so halfway up. No matter where you hit the key, it sends it at 64, and that was a function they brought in a few uh, iterations ago. It just actually makes playing a lot easier, otherwise you start modulating stuff just by hitting various parts of the key, which is a bit frustrating. So it's using a relative position to work out whether the CC74 value goes up or down. So you hit a note in the middle, which I'm doing here, you'll see here these two settings shape and hard sync which I've got set up in this VST to uh, be mapped if I show the mapping here you see it's mapped to CC74 you'll see that whenever I hit a note it's gone back and if I um, modulate that to another number by just uh, dragging it somewhere else there we are and then hit a note it goes back to where it was. So it's mapped to CC74, but unfortunately, um, it always goes back to 64 in the middle. Um, I've got this mapped uh, to the, the key as you saw, so if I do hit a note, and then push up and down on the key, I get the change, which is exactly what I wanted, but to get back to zero, I have to pull down on the key once I've hit it. So I want to go a little bit old school and actually bring this so wherever I hit the key, both hard sync and shape are right down, and as I push forward, I want them to go up. Of course, you could reverse this, so when you push forward, they come down, but I'm just showing them going up in this instant. It just seems easier for the demonstration. So we've got a limitation here that we can only really, in a one-directional view, make use of 64 steps, um, which is fine. We can do that, but we need to do some maths to these uh, CCs to do that. So um, I've got Omnisphere, as I said, plugged in to the Rolly, uh, and I've got it on a MIDI channel, so I'm going to the MIDI inserts and I'm going to activate Transformer. So MIDI Transformer is a great way of playing with MIDI information. So I'm going to open up the Transformer and show you what I've done. So here is a Transformer window. I have set up a filter so that it looks for any CC controller 74. So MIDI controller number equals CC 74 and the type is equal to a controller. So um, the MIDI transformer is listening to anything that has been transmitted from the MIDI channel. And this is a great thing about this. This is non-destructive. This is a filter applied after the MIDI has been recorded or after the MIDI has come in. So you're not actually mucking up any of the data you're recording. It's just a, a post-recording or post-input filter. And then down the bottom here, we've got the actions. So the actions, I'm going to change value 2, which is the actual value of the CC, so 0 to 127. I'm going to subtract 64 from that. And by subtracting 64 from that, as soon as I hit a key now, so let's just go over here and have a look. As soon as I hit a key, you'll see the hard sync and the shape no matter where they were when they started, go back to zero, which is great. So now it's taking away 64 from the value and bringing it back down to zero. Unfortunately, when you do that, you've now only got a range of 64 steps to play with. And when you push all the way up to the front, so let's just get rid of this line here. When you push all the way up to the front, the most you'll go to is halfway up, you'll see here almost halfway up the slider. I want to have this to go all the way up to the end here. So to do that, I need to boost my signal. I need to essentially ramp up the gain on the MIDI CC. And so to do that, it's very easy. I choose value two. I choose some maths. Sorry, I multiply, and I'm gonna multiply this by two. Um, in fact, I multiply by 2.2, .2 and there are reasons for that. Um, the Rolly keyboard doesn't quite long enough. Um, so we'll do 2.2. .2. Now I'll hit the bottom of the key. <laughs> And now I've got complete control. So when I hit the key, they reset back to zero. And when I push forward, I get the full range 
of MIDI control. And of course this applies now to any synthesizer. In fact, um, this MIDI transformer is almost as a default MIDI transformer on any instrument I now use the Rolly with, so I get used to the way it controls, except of course for their own software which uses it slightly differently. So um, that's a very useful feature to have. Of course I'm just showing it here with Omnisphere showing very simple filtering and, and shape changing, but of course if you want to apply that to a modulation or anything it's also incredibly handy. So um, I'll leave that there, that's a very useful hint, I hope you will find it useful.